Etna on the brink. Thousands of earthquake swarms, rapid land rise, and fears of a flank collapse into the sea. Catania, Sicily, under the pale glow of the Mediterranean dawn. Mount Etna stands like a restless titan, its slopes veined with fresh fractures, its summit draped in a ribbon of steam that curls into the cold air. For centuries, Sicily has lived with this mountain, its eruptions, its ash, its unpredictable moves. But in late 2025, something deeper, stranger, and far more unsettling is taking shape. Etna is no longer simply erupting, it is moving. A shifting giant? Over the past several weeks, monitoring stations around the volcano have recorded more than 12,000 micro-earthquakes, many too small for residents to feel, but unmistakable in their pattern. Instead of being scattered randomly, the quakes cluster along Etna's southeastern flank, the side long known to be sliding slowly toward the Ionian Sea. But now that slow motion has begun to accelerate, GNSS sensors perched on the mountain slopes show land uplift of 3 to 6 centimeters in some sectors, numbers that would be unremarkable on the quiet volcano, but are deeply worrying here. Combined with thousands of earthquake swarms, the deformation suggests that magma is rising aggressively beneath the surface, pushing, prying, and straining the entire edifice. Volcanologists describe the data with a single, chilling phrase. The flank is unlocking. The fear that haunts the Mediterranean. A collapse into the sea. Etna's southeastern flank, enormous, unstable, and already sliding, has long been a point of concern. Much of the flank sits above land, but its continuation plunges deep into the Ionian Sea, where underwater ridges and sediment layers show clear signs of past collapses. If a large enough portion of the volcano site were to fail all at once, the consequences would be catastrophic. A massive landslide could thunder into the sea at terrifying speed. A regional tsunami could erupt outward across the Mediterranean, striking Sicily, Malta, Greece, and even North Africa within minutes. Coastal towns, Catania, Augusta, Syracuse would have little warning. While scientists emphasize that such a collapse is rare and unpredictable, the ingredients have never looked more aligned. Accelerating flank movement. Magma intrusion pushing from within. Thousands of quakes lubricating and weakening fault zones. Rapid land rise stretching the already unstable slope. Etna is a mountain perched between land and sea, held together by ancient lava, gravity, and time. But gravity always wins eventually. Part 2 Inside the Volcano Deep beneath Etna, seismic tomography reveals a chamber less like a tidy reservoir of magma and more like a tangled network of molten fractures. Pressure is building inside the system, and magma is forcing its way upward toward the surface. Volcanologists monitoring the volcanic tremor data notice a disturbing trend. The tremor isn't constant, it pulses. It rises sharply for hours at a time, then drops, then rises again, as if the mountain itself is breathing. Each pulse corresponds with 
new fractures appearing on the southeast flank. Fresh bursts of earthquakes warms. Minor ash explosions at the summit's southeast crater. The pattern suggests magma is moving through the system in stop and go surges, building pressure, breaking rock, then surging again. If one of those surges intersects with the coastal fault running beneath the southeastern flank, it could trigger exactly the kind of rapid destabilization scientists fear most. The surface warns us. Even without an explosive eruption, Etna is showing dramatic surface changes. One, fresh cracks on the Valle del Bove. Drone footage shows fractures spreading across the region like lightning frozen into the earth. Some are mere centimeters wide, others span several meters. Two, steam vans roaring open. Near Boca, Nova, and Southeast Crater, new gas vents have ripped open, releasing sulfur, steam, and superheated gases. 3. Ground uplift, speeding up. What used to be millimeters per month is now centimeters in days. 4. Lava pathways reactivating. Thermal cameras detect hot zones widening beneath the summit plateau, an omen of an eruptive phase that may be imminent. For Sicilian authorities, the combination is terrifying enough that military and civil protection teams have quietly moved into a heightened readiness level, not for an eruption, but for the possibility of infrastructure collapse, landslides, or coastal displacement. Part V, the great question. The great question, eruption or something worse? Scientists agree that Etna is heading toward a major eruptive phase. The magma rise, the seismicity, and the uplift leave little doubt. But the darker, more complex threat is a flank collapse, a scenario that remains difficult to predict but impossible to ignore. While many eruptions at Etna are spectacular yet manageable, a structural collapse will be something else entirely. It would not be local. It would not be predictable. It would not be slow. It would be sudden, violent, transformative, a geological event felt across an entire sea. Part of a night on the volcano, just after midnight, as cold winds sweep across the summit, the monitoring stations detect another surge 